We're recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, little mafia moment here. This is. <laughs> That's this, a word I'm not allowed to say. This. The, <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so the ugly guy on this side of the picture, obviously that's me. The ugly guy on this side of the picture is Russ Ford, who is my, well, one of, he's he's not my brother, brother, but he is my brother, but we're first cousins, actually. And Russ is the one that we kept bringing his name up uh, in terms of this that was county commissioner at the time that helped Steve um, keep your taxes from going up. At this point, Russ is not running for any major deal. He, he actually is running to be uh, basically county chair for the Republican Party, which is a non-paid position. And I said, dude, you are losing your mind. Why would you get into a position that half the people hate you and you don't get paid for it? Okay. And what he said was, he said, look, he said, I see the same thing you do, which is, there's a lot of things going on that need to be worked on. And, and he said, I can't sleep at night if I don't put forth the effort that I need to put forth to see if I can fix these things. And I can't, I, you know, I, so I need to see if I can get in a position that will help do that a little quicker. And if I don't, it's not going to bother me a bit. I, I get to sleep at night knowing I tried. So I'm using him as an example for two reasons. Number one, since you're going to be voting the Republican ticket this time anyway, vote for Russ. He's a good guy. Okay. He is. He's one of my uncles. And, like and, I've vented to him. Yeah. He's like, Dang, he's, uh, <laughs> Uncle Jay calls him like the pit bull. So and it makes sense that him and I get along. And when I vent, I'm like, I'm going to do this. And then I got this app. And he's like, Go get him, kiddo. Like, go with well, him. And, and the other thing about Russ is, is that he does truly care about the people, too. And and he <laughs> listens to us, which Listen. is important to you I say if crazy you're voting. Stuff, or even left field, he'd be like, give me some context. Give me some background mm -hmm. so I can, do you want advice or do you want to vent or do you need me to push you? Tell me what you need before you go. And I'm like, I don't know what I need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the best thing is, is that I've never asked him when he was in office, I, there was never a time that I asked him for something that he didn't do the best he could to try to follow through and help us with things. And, and he would always get on the front line for any project that I was working on and try to help out. And so, I, you know, once again, I, I, I know some other people that are in the, and they're qualified. The, the other people in that race are definitely qualified. So I'm, I'm not, this is a, this is a me talking about my bro type thing. And, and for me, I love it because I know who he's been. Like I said, I, the way that I am, when y'all see that I'm 100% like this all the time. And I'm like this around everybody. And they've loved me and grown me and mentored me and shared with me. So I feel like, you know, if it's time for change, then these are our people to where we have the knowledge and the openness and the backbone, the integrity, the fortitude of character to really bring forth change for everybody. You know, I'm going to say this, and this is prickly. The world has taught me to believe that I should be af afraid of Republican 50-plus-year-old white men. And that's awful, <laughs> awful, because now, like, you know, it's been my refuge and my safe space. And I can talk about black, brown community. And I'm like, you know, I go to talk to leaders that maybe look more like me and my dad. And then I go to my uncles and I get advice. It just blows my mind that we've created these labels and these ideas on who's for us. And they're more divisive than we can ever imagine. And that, so I just want to stand behind and tell you like, these human beings have gotten me here. <laughs> they've helped me. They've taught me. They've mentored me. Even if all they did was just say, hey, you're doing great. Keep going, kiddo. Um, it's it's enough. Again, I'm grateful. Well, I'm grateful. <laughs> we expect big things from you, and that's all there is to it. I'm so, trying to do in any event, um, <laughs> hey, thank you all for listening. And it, you know, you don't you don't have to listen to a crusty old Colonel Sanders looking <laughs> guy, but but I appreciate y'all taking the time to at least listen and do do fact check anything that we tell you. Fact check it, okay. But um, Maritza has been in the DA's office as long as her opponent was before he became the DA. 
And so don't let anybody tell you that she's not qualified enough because she's just as qualified as he was when he got that DA position. She's more balanced because now she's seeing both sides Absolutely. of what's going to happen in Brazos Valley courtrooms. And um, we want people that have a very balanced perspective. I want this. somebody that's going to roll up their sleeves and get in there and do their job. Amen. And I know she will. Amen. All right. Maybe more of my aunties and uncles will come and share um, what they've taught me so I don't keep twisting my words and try not to get anybody fired. <laughs> Who knows? Might be a new era. (laughs) Hey, if I'm gone tomorrow, y'all know why. (laughs) Bye. Bye.